some questions of SFIMO Olympiad Class 4th of 2018 and 2019. First question. Study the pictograph showing the number of students qualified in various sports. How many more students qualified in badminton and football altogether than in cricket? I will read the question again. How many more students qualified in badminton and football altogether than in cricket? They ask us first. First I will read what is this pictograph. Sports number of students. I will see this first that each trophy stands for 10 students. We will see football first. Football 10 20, 30. There are total 30 in it. Cricket, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50. In tennis, 10, 20, 20. Badminton, 10, 20, 30, 40. So here 40 are they. They told all together this means you have to plus 30 by 40. We'll write here first because bigger number should be first here. That's why I wrote 40 up. 0 and 7 here. Now the total than in cricket. That means we have to minus 70 minus how many are there in cricket. There are total 50 in the cricket. We have to minus 50 minus First, you have to take bigger number only. Otherwise, you can't do the minus. So, 70 minus 50 is equal to 20. Now, we got our answer. Answer is B. Is it clear? Next question. Consider the triangle shown and select the correct option. I will read the question again. Consider the triangle Shown and select the correct option. Don't forget it. It is correct. It is not incorrect. The told consider this triangle. This big triangle is we have to consider this whole triangle. And we have to see what information is ba correct based on this triangle. First we will see the first option. If AB is equal to AC. Is equal to BC. Then ABC is an isolist triangle. I will tell the meaning first. Isolist triangle means this part and this part of the triangle are equal. And this part of the triangle is not equal. Now the told that AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC means this AB and AC are equal. After that, the total BC is also equal. BC is equal means it became an equilateral triangle. So, this figure is an equilateral triangle. But they wrote here is so this triangle. So, it is not correct. We will make here cross. Now, we will see the B option. If AB not equal, ABC not equal, AC, then ABC is an equilateral triangle. It is also wrong. This part is correct because it is an equilateral triangle. This one is wrong because the tool it is not correct. It is not correct the tool. That's it can't be. This is also wrong. See can't be only because the tool A and B are correct. It can't be because we learned that they both are wrong. Then how it can be? So it is also wrong. We will see the fourth option. Neither A nor B. They told neither. In this both and the answer is not there. A and B nothing is there the answer. So this is correct. Is it clear? Next question. Think of a number. Multiply by 12. Add 6. Multiply by 3. Subtract 9. Divide by 11. The result is 27. 
What is the number? I will repeat the question again. Think of a number. Multiply it by 12. Add 6. Multiply by 3. Subtract 9. Divide by 11. The result is 27. What is the number? Now they ask us. We have to take a number from these 4 options. And see we have to multiply and do this whole operation. Now this is the first option. 4. We have to multiply it by 12. 4. Now we have to write the bigger number front. Don't forget this. 12 plus multiplied by 4. What is that? 8 and 4 ones are 4. It will come 48. Now we have to plus 6. Plus 6 we have to do. We have to plus 6. Then we will get 4. 54 we will get. Now we have to multiply 54 by 3. Multiply it by 3. 4 3 is 12. 15 and it will become this. Now we have to subtract it by 9. It by 9. Then we will get 3. 5, 1. We we'll get this. Now we have to divide it by 11. 11 divided by 153. 153. Now we have to see what will come. 11, 1 is 11. Minus 3 would come here. 3. 5 minus 1, it's very easy, it will come 4, here 0, 11, 3 is a 33, minus 8, we will get, we will get this, but we got the answer, it is 13, the number remainder should be smaller than the Divisor. That's why right. now it will get 13. It is wrong because it is 27 answer. We got 13. It is wrong. 13 we got off. Now we will solve 14. It is very easy because just they added 0. That's why we just have to add one 0 in this side. So it would become 130. So this answer is... 130. Because I done this operation here. Just the added here 0. In the last we'll also add the 0. We'll see the option C. It is also not the answer. Because it is it is gone in 100. 100 gone but it is in tens. We'll see the third option. We'll see the third option. It is 8. 8 we have to multiply it by 12. Eight to the sixteen. We have to take one there. Eight on the eight nine. Now we have to do. We got it. Now we have to plus six to it. Plus six is equal to two one gone there. One zero two. Now we have to multiply it by three. Multiply it by 3. 3 to the 6. Don't forget it. Any number when it is multiplied by 0, it would come 0 only. 3 zeros are 0. 3 ones are 3. We got it. Now we have to subtract line from it. Nine. We have to take one from it. It will become sixteen. It will become seven. It will become nine. And he took one from it. 
So it will come to. Now I will write here. Two will write here. We got two ninety seven. Now we have to divide two ninety seven by eleven. Two ninety seven. Here eleven. Eleven. Two is a twenty two. Minus seven will come down. Seven. Seven. Zero. Seven. Seven is a seventy seven. Minus zero. We got the remainder. Remainder is zero. And it is twenty seven. So the answer is C because this answer is also result is also twenty seven only. That's why we do not have to do D answer because it we got the answer. Why to do it? Yes, it is C.